fresh, crisp hair up in this bitch. Ew, why you look like that? Bro, you wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? Go outside. Oh, you're not supposed to be on that pop. Oh my God. Now, you know you can sit over there. Sit down. Tell me your dog is needy without telling me your dog is needy. <laughs> there is no space. You're lucky I love you. <laughs> Hey you guys, I feel like I haven't really been on the vlog this morning, I just got a video out and I'm house sitting for my dad so I've just been here for the past few days and honestly I didn't think I'd be going out of the house otherwise I would have brought proper clothes because I've been wearing the same sweatpants for two days and now I'm about to go get a hydrofacial <laughs> but I wanted to kind of vlog a little bit and talk about hydrofacials and why I love them I get facials and treatments done monthly so I just did a chemical peel and I like to do hydrofacials kind of in between because they're so amazing for wrinkled aging skin acne prone skin hyperpigmentation oily skin clogged skin it's essentially a facial this is not an ad for hydrofacial by the way but it's a facial that cleanses the skin exfoliates the skin extracts build up dead skin cells sebum product um unclogs the pores it also hydrates the skin so i love them i think they do amazing things and you can do them like once a month so i have a little bit of like breakouts going on uh, but I really want to kind of decongest my skin and hydrate my face. So I actually just booked it on Sephora and I booked it last night and I didn't know that I could do it again because of the panorama and all that stuff. So I found a location that does it and it's only about 30 minutes. I don't know how I feel about doing it at Sephora, but it was only $75 and it used to be free if you had a $75 in-store purchase. You could just get a free hydrofacial, but they've changed things now post everything going on and it's only $75, which hydrofacials can range from, I would say like a hundred. I've paid $200 for a hydrofacial before um, to like $300. It just depends on what you want to get done, boosters that you want to get added into it, et cetera, et cetera. But girl, I'm going to Sephora. It's the same machine. It's still going to do the suctioning of all the extra oil that I have in my skin and um, I just want my product to be able to like my skincare to be able to absorb a little bit better and for me and my acne I do have a lot of like sebum like on my nose that's where I can see a lot of like clogged pores and blackheads and stuff and personally I would rather do hydrofacial than trying to extract myself or like getting extractions done um, somewhere because it's a lot more gentle i find it's also very relaxing and i like the suction noise so i don't know if i can vlog in there or not um we will see but i'm really excited to get a hydrofacial today treat myself to some self-care and um today we're just hanging out honestly i've just been having a very relaxed week i don't know what this video is gonna be maybe a weekly vlog i'm not really sure uh, but it is getting so cold. It's 56 and I'm not prepared at all you guys. I don't have any fall clothes I'm out here with my ankles out some slides. I don't have a proper shirt I have like a bralette like this is a mess <laughs> This is a mess. So I need to get my fall wardrobe together But anyway, I'm gonna head over to Sephora and I will see you guys Hopefully there I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit of something something Bro, this place is dead. I have not been to a mall. Like, I don't really go to malls. Where is Sephora? Ugh. 
I low-key want to go look for some Uggs at Journeys, but do I need them? Yes. My appointment is also in 13 minutes. I was going to go to Bath & Body Works to get a candle, but why are their candles $25 now? What? Why do they keep going up in price? But anyway, do I need another coffee? Possibly. This mall doesn't really have, well they have a Nordstrom rack. So they probably don't have the Uggs that I want. To go to like Pentagon, I'm at Springfield by the way. Probably go to like Tyson's or Pentagon Mall. The temptation is there, but I'm not gonna spend $25, bro. Not today. Alright guys, just cleanse my face. I asked her if I could record. Um, typically I like to say depending on your skin tolerance, um, you could do it as early as once every two weeks. Oh no way. Yeah, okay. but um typically it's about once every four. Okay. Needed this? Oh my gosh. She's a little red, but it's gonna go down. But wow. Bro, it's so freaking windy. And y'all know these Jeep doors do not play. Also, they made this drink way too freaking sweet, so I just cannot. That was a waste of $7. Just, yeah, no. Yeah, nah, bruh. Anyway, I just got to Trader Joe's. Gonna go get me some food. Just some groceries. And it's going right in the trash. RIP. So nice out. Oh my gosh, it's like perfect breeze, crisp fall day. I came back to my mom's, dropped Lee off, put my groceries away, and changed for the gym. And it's just a part of my self care to work on my body physically. And I missed being at the gym. <laughs> Granted, I didn't go yesterday because I was at my dad's and I just did not feel like driving in the storm. Um, and honestly, I felt like I needed to take a break because I've been going every single day 
and I've had active rest days, but I just needed to chill for two seconds. Let me miss the gym for five seconds. Come back and smash an insane leg day, which is what your girl is about to do right now. I have some iced pre-workout and I cleaned my car out a little bit and organized it because, you know, Lee's car seat thing. I don't like having it in the front because it's so bulky. It's like all up in my space. So I um, moved it back to the back things they're crooked for one um and my face is just so i don't want to say oily from the peel not the peel what the heck was it a facial um and the, whatever product she used she used like a serum from glow recipe i have it actually i've never used it got it in pr um it's making my skin look very you see my forehead bald like bald headed shiny whose grandpa is it you know like very much that um but the redness has definitely gone down i think tomorrow like i said it'll look a lot better um i don't know i'm not gonna vlog in the gym because i have so much gym content specifically focused on lower body and you can check out my instagram for that and i also have several full detailed workout videos that goes over the form and like my staple exercises both at home as well as in the gym with equipment um, and dumbbell as well so if you guys want to check that out go to the cards go check out my fitness journey playlist <laughs> here <laughs> all right you guys i am back from the gym i feel like i've been running around all freaking day but i'm just gonna go in with my uh what is this <laughs> uh youth preserve eye cream from fresh i just keep my skincare very simple i don't want to be adding too much and it is so freaking smooth like wow so i figured i would kind of do a routine with you guys my Sunday Riley CEO and because it's like a self-care day I really needed to <laughs> moisturize my curls as you can see they were very dry so I actually went in and did um, a shampoo which I don't shampoo every time I usually do co-wash so I cleansed my hair not me getting moisturizer in my curls um, I shampooed and then instead of using a conditioner, let me know, like my natural girls, like I don't use a mask and a conditioner. I'll pick one or the other because that's a waste of product. Uh, but this is the Miss Jessie's Super Sweetback Treatment. Mine's almost out. Love that stuff so much. And I went to Target and re-upped on my favorite curly product, which is the Miss Jessie's Multicultural Curls. It smells like meringue it's so good and it's a nice medium hold i also wanted to try this growth oil i was gonna get just regular castor oil and then make my own diy which i've done a video on so i'll pop that in the cards if you guys want to check that out um it essentially has like a lot of the same ingredients this was like nine dollars and the first ingredient is jamaican black castor oil sunflower oil grapeseed oil almond oil grapefruit essential oils lemon essential oil lavender literally all the things that i would like in an oil so i'm gonna try this out tonight and i like that it has like a nozzle applicator and i'm trying to get these inches to grow okay so i'm hoping that this will do amazing things for me Ooh, it smells good it smells like um lavender so I'm going to hit this on my roots. Oh my god, this applicator is so nice. And because it's a growth oil, I don't find it to be necessary to put it on my ends just because my hair grows from the scalp. So why am I going to put it on the ends for? It'll penetrate along the shaft eventually. 
So that was quick. That was easy. Massage that in. I love how castor oil feels on my hair because it is so heavy, but the next day it's usually so freaking soft. And because it has so many carriers in it, it spreads evenly. So, love that for me. All right, now I'm gonna put my Miss Jessie's. I kinda wanna try. Oh my God, yo, this. This right here smells so good. I kind of want to try like a half up, half down. I do not section my hair because I'm a lazy natural, okay? And I already detangled in the shower. So why do I need to do that again? Sorry for the lighting, you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to get used to filming in here, but it's just not really the best for vlogs and stuff. But um, anyway, that's in. I would say if you're used to Miss Jessie's products, um, this is in between the Pillow Soft Curls and then the Honey Curls. It's just a happy medium, and for me, like, it just works so great. I don't find that it um, weighs my hair down, and it also has enough hold, like, more hold than the Pillow Soft. So I feel like it'll last with the definition a little bit longer, if that makes sense. So happy to have that back in my life. I'll try to link these three products in the description. I have a feeling I'm really going to love this. So I'm just going to look for... Um, a hair tie and then I'm gonna do I just wanna try a half up half down I'm so hungry thank gosh I have meal prep waiting for me and literally I'm going to bed so I, I don't know if this doesn't turn out good <laughs> we have a new day to style our hair tomorrow I don't know how much I should put in the top. Yeah, that looks good. Or should I do less? I have too much in the top part, I don't freaking know. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Is that too much? Girl, what the? Why do I look like I'm 10 years old? This is not what I was going for. Not the look I was going for. Not the look. Maybe I should make it less high and bring it back. Bring it back, baby. Yeah, it's probably the move. so cute yeah it was just way too freaking high and then whatever is at the top I don't know if you guys can see my curls they're really not frizzy so I'm just going to kind of define the pieces that are at the top layer 
And despite the fact that I've been putting heat on my hair way more recently than I've honestly wanted to, like my curls are curling, you know what I'm saying? Like they definitely look healthy. They're springing, you know what I'm saying? That's always a good sign. God, we got some hang time. Okay. Okay, shorty. We got some hang time. I feel like, ugh, I don't know. Maybe I'll talk about this in my hair update because my one year is coming up. Like, next week. Yeah, I'm just kind of finger quilling some of these pieces. And then I'll probably do a little bit because I have a looser texture at the crown and it's honestly more frizzy and not so defined. So it takes a little more TLC in those areas. I don't really want to define it too much, but you can see like up here, it's not really defined. I'm gonna see how it dries throughout the rest of this evening. Definitely gonna get some shrinkage. Oh my gosh, it's so frizzy out there. Yeah, it really just has its own mind <laughs> at the crown. I feel like that's mostly common for a lot of people though to have different textures in their crown. Let me know if you guys can relate. Okay, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it like this and see what it does. I'm not even gonna put gel in it or anything. So, well, my redness on my face definitely went down a lot after that hydrofacial. Set timer for 18 minutes. 18 minutes counting down. Sorry for the lighting. I just finished editing up this video up until today. 
and I want to show you guys my curls because you know I did a curly hair routine granted I slept on my hair so definitely could probably benefit from being refreshed because what is this but the um definition look at that we got some shrinkage but the hold of the multicultural is amazing let me tell you if i would have done the same thing the product um application with the pillow soft and i went to bed my hair would be smushed and just like a frizzy ball of a mess so this for me is like the perfect product i'm just gonna refresh them um as far as moisture that hair oil amazing it's not heavy or weighed down but my curls are super soft and my scalp is hydrated i noticed that before why i wanted to get it was because my scalp was freaking dry you guys so yeah it's my hair the next day shout out to my bonnet for protecting my curls i don't know what this piece was doing but yeah, I'm going to end the video here because I want to get this up today. But I didn't want to just leave you guys hanging <laughs> like this crappy curls. on on? I wanted to show you an update with those products. So I will put them in the description if you guys want to try them out. I mean, I could have made my hair growth oil so easily. But I didn't want to have to go out and buy all the individual ingredients. And then y'all know I'm a lazy natural. To let that dry. <laughs> Why is it limited?